Hey, this is Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, where we talk riding, rallies, gear, and wrenching. And we're about to do a first ride on a 1989 Pacific Coast 800, PC 800, is what Honda called it. This bike is for sale. There's a, another video where I talk about that. I'll throw a link to that up above and below. By the time you see this, it may not be for sale anymore, so you'll have to go back and check that video because that's where I will note whether it's still, if it's sold, it'll say sold in the comments pinned to the top. Well, start up easy. The throttle seems hard and the clutch is right there. The minute I start to let it out. And there I killed it. That makes for a great video. Mid controls. I have the uh, visor open so you guys might be getting a little bit of wind. But I'm gonna try and leave it open while I'm in town. This might be a terrible first ride video. In fact, it's probably going to be because it's the first one I've done. So, welcome to the Virgin First Ride video by Riding in the Ozarks. I definitely don't know where the power band is in this thing. Yeah, this is a 1989 with 23,447 miles on it. it hasn't really been rode the last three years been parked but um, it had a new battery put in it and a new tire put on it so this is a B twin 800 cc Honda engine kind of like the Honda shadows and stuff but it's not a Honda shadow engine it's liquid cooled it takes antifreeze all right 7,000 55 in second gear it's about the red line so not shabby for an old 1989 bike this thing was born the year I graduated high school now we're almost out of town uh, I, I can say seats comfortable I don't like the the leg position but I'm not used to that they're gosh I feel like they're underneath me and you know I'm sitting very straight up and that's probably normal for this style of bike, which is not what I'm used to. Alright, well we're up in third now, 55 mile an hour, 4,000 RPM, trucking along and all I can hear is the wind and myself talk. Now a lot of people say this bike is a perfect commuter bike. It's got a big storage trunk in the back and it uh, feels like I'm lugging it. Get her up in a little bit more RPMs. Go back down to third. Got a lot of plastic on it, and I had I was I couldn't find any place to mount a GoPro on the bike except with a suction cup up here on the tank, and I can probably put it on some other body parts. But we're gonna get out of here a little bit. And we'll get to some twisties where I can see how this thing actually leans and feels. But yeah, I mean, I guess you know, as a commuter bike, one of the things I've heard is it's you know it's narrower than like a full-size gold wing and stuff so for states where they split lanes like California it's nice but you know it's not I don't know that I'd be splitting lanes on this thing it's not exactly what I'd call skinny it's just not you know as big as a gold wing that's John Cassie and John and Julie those are friends of mine you might see John and Julie in the Sturgis videos. I'm going to be a little cautious because I don't know this bike. We're at a 45. We'll roll out. She rolls out fine. And this next turn's rated at 15 mile an hour. So, you know, 
uh, we'll just have to see here. I'm rolling through at 40 just fine. Seems to handle pretty good. pull there if I get my head down I can hear the motor if I get down out of that wind I wonder if clockworks makes a windshield for this bad boy she will launch out of a turn if you give her the goose I'm not even wrapping her out hard hard there's all the way There's 85. Come out of that curve at 60. So it sure seems to handle the curves good. I'm sure the body position is a, a personal preference thing. I'm not used to it. I'm used to having a pangers and having my hands up here and my legs out in front of me but if you didn't mind the body position this thing seems to run strong handle well it's got lots of storage I can see where if you want to you know drive 50 or 60 miles a day back and forth to work you need to be able to grab a few groceries on the way home or things like that this would be a really ideal bike for something like that this is one of them bikes you can pick up for two thousand dollars so if you watch around somebody's going to get a hell of a deal on this bike we'll see how this thing feels at high speeds high speed running 80 pretty easy on the interstate it doesn't have any problem pulling cruising speeds on the interstate that's for sure well I can see why it'd be a great commuter bike on the interstate it'll run 75 80 mile an hour no problem very comfortable cruising speed for it in fact I found myself creeping up to 80 I don't without even meaning to.
like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, subscribe down below. Hit that bell to be notified. And as always, thanks for your support. Stay safe and keep on riding.